Chapter 1, Mishnah 7. The first part of this Mishnah speaks of a Zav, a man who is Tame because his organ emitted a certain type of discharge. If he experienced only one such discharge, he immerses himself in a mikvah and becomes Tahor at nightfall. If he had two discharges, he has a higher level of Tuma, and he needs to count seven days in which he does not have any discharge. On the last of these seven clean days, he immerses himself in spring water and becomes Tahor at nightfall. A Zav who had three discharges is the same as one who had two, except in a single respect. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. There is no difference between a Zav who had two discharges and one who had three, except that one who had three discharges must bring an offering on the day after his seven clean days, while one who had only two discharges does not have to bring an offering. The next two parts of the Mishnah discusses a Mitzorah. This is a person who has contracted saras, a certain type of skin affliction that is described in Leviticus chapter 13. A matzora is an avhatuma, similar to a zav, who had two or three omissions, and he is forbidden to be in any walled city in Eretz Yisrael. Someone who shows symptoms of this affliction must be examined by a kohen, who determines whether he is a matzora. If he has definite symptoms of saras, for example, his skin is discolored, with a whitish patch in which there are two hairs that have turned white, the Kohen declares him to be a confirmed Mitzora. If his symptoms are not definite, for example, he has a whitish patch on his skin, but it, its hairs are still dark, he ha is declared a confined Mitzora, meaning that he is confined to a room outside walled cities for seven days. After the seven days, the Kohen inspects him again. If the Kohen finds that his condition has worsened, he declares him to be a confirmed Mitzora. Even while the person is merely confined, he shares the same laws as a confirmed Mitzorah, with the following exceptions. There is no difference between a confined Mitzorah and a confirmed Mitzorah, except with regard to letting his hair grow and tearing his clothes. A confirmed Mitzorah must let his hair grow and tear his clothes, while a confined Mitzorah need not do so. The Mishnah now deals with the Mitzorah, who was declared free of tsaras either after a period of confirmation or after a period of confinement. There is no difference between a Mitzorah who was declared clean after a state of confinement and one who was declared clean after a state of confirmation, except for the requirements of shaving the hair and the ritual of the birds. When a Mitzorah who has been confirmed is declared free of tsaras, he must shave the hair of his body and participate in a ritual that involves two birds. But when a Mitzor who has merely been confined is declared clean, he has not done so. He does, he does not do so.